Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope we're all well and thank you very much for tuning in. So in this video, it's just gonna be a very, very quick one. I just wanna show you how I've managed to set up the auto brake rotary switch on the Thrustmaster TCA add-on for the A320 or the A32NX in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So these binds don't work by default in the simulator for the A32NX. They do work fine, I believe, for the default aircraft, but let's face it, most of us are using the A32NX these days. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys how I've got that set up. And I've also included a template file for that. So you will need a payware application as well called Axis and O's. Uh, it is a payware application like I say but it's it's not overly expensive it's about the same as any other scenery add-on on, on uh, just flight is where I got it from I think it's about 14 pounds I'll leave a link to it now down, down in the description but it is super powerful you can see uh, some more uses of it in a video I actually released earlier on uh, last week and uh, that goes through how I've used that to set up basically all the controls on the TCA quadrant and add-on for the CRJ and we've got working parking brake and gear levers and things like that in the CRJ it's really really cool so I highly recommend you going to check that out if uh, you do use the CRJ so it's uh, it's it's quite a simple one really this. So once you've got Axis and O's, uh, you can test this out on a trial version if you want to test it out. So again, link in the description if you want to go and look at that. And all you'll need to do is uh, just first of all, go to scripting and import scripts. I've put a link to the scripts I'm using in the description below. You'll just need to navigate to that on your computer and import that. So the file should be called A32NX AB underscore AAO scripts and you want to then open that and uh, import that so it'll bring up this window then and you want to just tick the A32NX and that's going to import both of these scripts here that we're using for the uh, bindings. I'm not going to do that because I've already got them on my system and then you'll want to then go to templates and import templates again there is a link to this template down in the description uh, just grab the template called a32nxab.temple. Uh, again, link to that in the description. Click open and then click on the a32nxab template. Import and then it should say import finished. Once that's happened, then you can just go templates, uh, apply a template to this aircraft. Then click the a32nxab template that you just imported and then click apply. You then want to click replace because it's only going to replace what's in here in Axis and O's. It won't affect any of your key bindings within Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, that is fine to do. So that's it really. It just It's just the bindings for the auto break. And I'll jump over to the sim and show you how that works now. All right, so jumping into the cockpit. First of all, you just want to make sure in your controls for Microsoft Flight Simulator that you don't have anything bound to the auto brake switches on the TCA add-on. So uh, obviously you can go in here, search by input, and then just rotate the dial and just check each button. Make sure you've got nothing assigned to that rotary as it is going to conflict if you have anything bound there. And yeah, so just jumping into the cockpit, I'll come down to the auto brake switches here so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. Uh, as you can see, low is currently on. We'll just disarm that. And yeah, so basically I can switch it up to low and low works as you can see it's on. Then number two, we'll go to medium auto brake and then up to high, we'll put it on max. So the rotary switch on the TCA add-on, it does have a few extra positions here than just these three options. It has obviously the brake to vacate and the additional third level of auto brake, uh, obviously, which some other Airbus aircraft have. So I've bound it to low, to and high. And then obviously you can bring the rotary dial switch all the way to disarm to turn it off completely. So that was it, really. I just wanted to share that with you because uh, I've recently purchased Axis and O's myself for use with the CRJ. 
So I thought I'd just give this a try and uh, it worked perfectly. So I thought I would share it with you, so, with you guys and uh, hopefully it's of, of some use to you. You might not be able to justify getting access to the nose just really for this one purpose. But if you watch my CRJ video, I do go into a lot more detail about how you can use this program and how you can set up basically all of the controls on the TCA quadrant and add on for use in the CRJ because a lot of those don't work by default. So once you start to realize the power of this, this application, if you've never used anything like this before, it becomes a lot more worthwhile. And like I say, it is only really worth the cost of, it is only the same cost as a, a scenery add-on. So in my opinion, it is an absolute bargain really. And uh, it's so, so powerful. You can obviously go about binding more or less anything in the aircraft once you realize how to do it. So you can bind, you know, autopilot controls, you can bind you know, heading knobs and things like that. If you've got the right controller for it, you can go so, so deep with it. And I would recommend definitely looking into it. If this ha video has helped you, do hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, do hit subscribe as well. Thank you everybody very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.